Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back again today with a Dollar Tree empties review video for you. We're going to talk some trash again. It's quite a bit, I think. I filled up the bag in the last week and a half or so. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. I have my garbage bag sitting here and before I start, everything is cleaned out, the packages are washed out, crumbs are thrown in the trash, all of that. My caramelized biscuits, guys. I found them here a few weeks back and I love them. I picked up four packs of these because they're amazing. If you guys haven't tried them, try them. They're like the Dollar Tree dupe of the Biscoff cookies. They're so good. Just a nice, simple, kind of cinnamony, spicy, but very, very light cookie. They're just delicious with a hot cup of coffee. I love them. So I was so glad to see them back in the stores. I hope they keep them because they're delicious. I love this kind of cookie. I like very simple cookies. I love shortbread and just simple, simple cookies. And those are good. The Hers Stubbs Original Barbecue Flavored Potato Chips. These were out just recently. They had several different flavors in this Hers brand. These are good. These are super, super good, but I thought they were very spicy. They they had a kick to them. I don't remember the Stubbs barbecue sauce being that spicy. I have not had it for a long time, but these were spicy and it's kind of like a delayed reaction. At first they're kind of sweet and barbecuey and then it kind of hits you, the, the spice to it. But these were very good. Me and hubby had these a couple days with our lunch and they were tasty. So I'd, I'd probably buy them again if I saw them. Finished off a thing of the Ferlani, the test, textic, the the Texas toast in the garlic flavor. It's you get six slices in here. This is very good, and I believe they also have one that's is it Parmesan garlic or something? And I believe you only get four slices in that. But we always stick with just the garlic, and there's enough in here. Me and hubby get three meals out of one of these boxes. He has a slice and I have a slice. So I think the value on this is excellent, and these are so good. They're thick and they're just flavored perfectly. So we pick these up all the time. They're delicious. What was this? This was the John Morrell, the Polish sausage made with chicken and chicken and pork. These are delicious. They're good. We pick these up all the time when we're there. Nice package. Um, let me see if I can see the, the ounces quickly. Where are they? seven ounce package of the Polish sausage. These are great, quick and easy. Fry them up on the grill, put them in a, a sub roll, whatever, however you would wanna do them. Throw them in some sauerkraut and slow cooker. They're just delicious. And John Morrell is a big name brand. So had those. Had a thing of hot dogs, the Bar S, the classic. Oh, these are the smoked sausage. This isn't the hot dog. There's probably a thing of hot dog a hot dog wrapper too, but I'm not sure. But these are good as well. Just quick fry them, whatever you want to do with them. They're tasty. And this is a four count and it's eight ounces. So these are perfect for me and hubby. You know, we each make one or, you know, cook them all and then have leftovers. They're good. Bar S brand. Finished off a thing of my peach tea. I love this tea in the summertime. And I don't know why. I never really buy that buy it in the winter but it kind of disappears in like once fall gets here, I don't see this flavor as much in my stores. So I have some now in the summertime. This is the Old Orchard Iced Tea and Peach, and this is lightly sweetened. I think that's how they say it here. Yes, lightly sweet. And it's a 64 ounce bottle. This stuff is so good. I like tea that isn't overpoweringly sweet. I We actually make our own unsweetened tea and add monk fruit to it. So drinking sweetened teas and things like that now, I have to water them down. And But this peach flavor is amazing and I really enjoy it. So I think I have one more jug of this downstairs and that'll probably be it for me for the summer. We made homemade pizzas one night for summer supper and finished off a jar of their, the Pampa brand, the mushrooms, pieces and stems. It is a 10 ounce jar and then the actual dry weight, how many mushrooms you get is a 5.3 ounce. 
We really enjoy these a lot. They're delicious and we buy them all the time, all the time. Just nice big pieces of mushrooms. Very good. And Goya, small red beans, prime premium, gluten-free. It's a 15.5 ounce can. Goya brand. I can't remember what hubby made. Hubby made something with these and I can't remember what, what he made. I can't remember, but they're good. It's Goya brand, red beans. We, and we do pick those up quite often. These are so tasty, guys. These are the Tasty Bite Microwave in 90 Seconds Organic Brown Rice. And it's an 8.8 .8 ounce package. I love these. They are so quick. That's what he made. He made gumbo one night and he used this and the red beans. And this is so good. It's just so quick and easy and convenient. And just to heat this up a minute and a half and you have a nice healthy side. I mean, it's microwaved, so I don't know how healthy healthy it is but they're delicious and if I, I haven't seen these lately but if I do see them again I will pick more of these up <clears throat> this was one of the Keebler pie crust the real big ones that were out just recently I actually made um it's probably in here somewhere I used two of the chocolate puddings the I think it was jello brand chocolate puddings from the Dollar Tree and I cut the milk to make it thicker and I put it in the pie crust and had Cool Whip on top. It was like a Dollar Tree dessert and it was so good. These This pie crust was gigantic. I could have probably used three packages of pudding in it. That's how big the crust is. But I used two and it worked well. And I used two and I think I used three cups of milk with that. But these were good, fresh and delicious. It was the Keebler brand finished a thing of the Star Snacks Mixed Nuts. They're so good and fresh and delicious. And this says less than 80% peanuts. Proud American company. These are good. They were nice and fresh and tasty. And I believe we have maybe one or two more packs and then finished off a thing of this. This is the Imperial Nuts, which we have tried so many from this company and they are always delicious. This bar mix, if you see it, try it. It has a mixture of different flavors in it and it is so good. It has the smoke flavored almonds, toffee peanuts, spicy peanuts, pretzels, and honey roasted peanuts, sweet and savory, and it's a four ounce package. This is just so nice to have, get a little handful, have it as a quick snack, and it is tasty. The flavors in here are amazing. And it is the, again, Imperial Nuts Company. What was this? This was the beef pasta, the Premier Pantry, 25% more, 7.4 ounce. I think I talked about this in my haul video of these because we had had one the night before I made the video. This is good, guys. It is like the hamburger helper, dupe, whatever you want to call it. This is good. I am very weird about that type of thing. I would rather make my own homemade concoctions than buy hamburger helper and things, but we wanted to try it. They have several different flavors in this, and this was the beef pasta. It is good. For me to say it's good, it's good. And it made a lot. I think it's six servings. Yes, six servings in this box. Me and hubby both had big servings of it and there was plenty left over. Just delicious, had a side salad with it and some butter bread. It is very, very good. And $1.25 for that, serve six. You know, the, the prices of things right now and gas and everything else, feeding the family is getting harder and harder. Try this, it is delicious. So quick, so easy. This was that big honkin' air freshener. You know, it was okay. I can smell it. I've had this now for what, maybe a month and a half. I can't remember when I showed it, but it's been a little while. I stuck it in the car and when, at the very beginning with the sun beating in the car and the car getting really warm, it worked very, very well, but the scent left quickly. So I don't think I would buy it again, but it did work and I can smell it now when I'm right up on it, I can still smell the scent, very nice scent, but it just didn't last long enough for in a car. So I've just had so many misses 
with the air fresheners from the Dollar Tree that I just, when I see something really different like this, I will pick it up, but I, I don't think I'll be buying many air fresheners from the car anymore. I think there's another one in here as well. Finished a thing of the pepper stir fry, the TJ Farms. We love this. This is one of our go-to staple products from the Dollar Tree. I use this at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. It is just so quick and convenient for me. I put hot sausage with a little bit of spaghetti sauce and like a half a bag of this in the crock pot, let it just slow cook all day. It is a quick, easy meal. And you get a nice combination of the um, yellow onion, red, yellow, and green bell peppers. It's a nice mixture in the bag and it's just so convenient. Finished a thing of their tortilla chips. For months, we could not find tortilla chips of any kind in our stores, and now they're all back, which makes us very happy because we love them. This is the Homestyle Select, the yellow round tortilla chips, and it is a six ounce package. These are just good. They're, they're delicious tortilla chips, and you get a lot in the bag. They're, they're wonderful. And they also have the, um, the triangle shape. I think they're like restaurant style or something is what they call them. They're all good. We love them all. So we finished off the thing of those. Here's the pudding that I was saying about that I used with the pie crust. This is just the jello chocolate pudding. It says four half cup servings, no artificial sweeteners, no high fructose corn syrup. I used two of these boxes with three cups of milk and made the pudding and then just put it in the pie shell and then served it with Cool Whip. It was delicious, quick and easy little snack. Finished a thing of my quart size zippy bags. You get 20 in here. You get more when there's no red little red slider. I had to pick up a bag, a, a box with the slider because I couldn't find this one and you only get 13 in that box. Without the slider, you get 20. So I always look for this one, but I couldn't find them. So I had to get the other. I finished some of this mountain Ice Mountain Sparkling Spring Water in the Raspberry Lime. This was out a little while back in a, I think it was a six pack of it. I think I still have three more cans of it. This is okay. I wouldn't buy it again, but I will finish it off. I love sparkling water and this was okay. This is better. This is what I'm drinking right now while I'm making videos. This is the Crystal Geyser Sparkling Spring Water in the natural lemon flavor. I love this stuff. I won't buy this often because $1.25 for one bottle is a bit pricey, but it is good. This is okay. And I believe this came in another flavor as well. It was in a green box and I still have that some of that downstairs and I know I like it better than this, but it's okay. I will finish it. Finished a thing of the Colgate Renewal, revitalizes gums and this is in the whitening restoration in the cool mint gel. I love this stuff, absolutely love it. And they have one with a green kind of packaging. I can't remember what it's for, maybe gum, gum restore or something, but I like this a lot. I have one in each of the bathrooms and I'm using, using them, they're de delicious. The flavor is wonderful, they do the job, they work well, I like them and I think this was an excellent find in the Dollar Tree, so if you see them, pick them up. I believe they're like $6.97 at Walmart right now. So $1.25 for that is a great deal. And I really enjoy it. it. It's good stuff. Hubby finished off a pack of these delicious chocolate cookies. And it is by the Cookie Collection Company. And it's a 6.17 ounce. And this was with the rich cocoa cream filling. They also come in caramel flavor. I did not like the caramel flavor at all. He did. He likes caramel. I didn't like it. But these have... Let me see if I can get the picture decent there for you. These are kind of filled. It's like two cho chocolate chip cookies with the chocolate gooey filling. These were good. I liked these. These these were very, very tasty. So we would probably pick these up again. And I know he would pick up the caramel center ones too. He enjoyed them. Finished a thing of the Essentials brand by Arm, excuse me, by Arm & Hammer. It's a bonus 12 ounce foaming body wash in the Simple Fresh Scent, paraben-free, dye-free, vegan, 12 ounce. Finished a thing of this. I love the Arm & Hammer body wash. I buy it all the time. I didn't like this foaming one. I don't like foaming body washes. I don't like pumps 
for in the shower. I would rather have a squeeze tube, but that's just me. Everybody is different, but it worked well. Don't get me wrong. It did the job. It lathered nicely. It lasted a long time, this, this bottle, but I just don't like foaming body wash. So, and I think I have one more in the cabinet. So when the kids come down, I'll let them finish that off because they do like foaming body wash. So they'll get that. Finally finished off the little chick soap from Easter time. I like this. Whatever this soap is that they used in here this year was excellent. It didn't dry out my hands. It was like a citrus smell and the smell was amazing. I enjoyed this a lot. So I washed him out. I let him dry out very well. And I'm going to put this little bottle away with my Easter decorations and I'll probably refill it again next Easter in case I don't come across these, you know, when the time comes. He's just cute. But I really like that soap that was in it. Oh, here's another thing of the Nature Garden, the Paleo Nut Mix. This is one of my favorite nut mixes at the Dollar Tree. Some people love this. Some people don't. I love this. I love how it, they're lightly roasted, almost like a raw combination. Like it, they're not overly roasted. They're not overly salted. I honestly don't even know if there's any salt in here or not. No, there is not. It says roasted peanuts, roasted cashews, walnuts, raw almonds, raw hazelnuts. I love that. I love the combination. It is delicious. I actually have another package open downstairs right now. I love this stuff. They also have a keto version. And in the keto version, it has like little um, dried cheese balls in it. I like the paleo better. So I pick this up when I see it. And it's becoming harder and harder to find. So when I see it, I grab it. Oh, here's one of the Crystal Geyser, the bottled sparkling water. And this is in the natural pineapple mango flavor. This was super good too. Very different flavor, very refreshing. This was nice. We, Me and hubby split this bottle and it was very good. So I highly recommend these. But like I said, $1.25 for one little bottle. Not that... <clears throat> Not that great of a deal, but they're good. Hubby finished a thing of the tea that he likes. This is the Zero Sugar Lemon Brisk, Zero Sugar Iced Tea. A 1.05 quart bottle. He really enjoys this a lot. He picks it up all the time. He, he maybe drink one drinks one of these a week or so. This lasts him, but when he sees it, he grabs it, especially the Zero Sugar. And I believe it is flavored with aspartame. Yes but he doesn't drink very much of it throughout the week, but he loves the flavor of this. So he grabbed it and it's brisk. <clears throat> Guys, I have to take a drink. I'm sorry, I've been talking a lot this morning. Sorry about that. I can feel my throat kind of getting scratchy and it's making my nose water. Finished the bottle of this palm olive, the spray away, and I liked it. I liked it a whole lot. I think I told you in one of my last hauls that I used it to clean my garbage can. It worked excellent. I've used it on the outside patio furniture. Hubby has used it in, in that way too. I still have, have yet to try it on, on dishes. I've been using it as a cleaning product and it works well. And it's not the traditional palm olive scent. And I think that's what throws people. People like see the palm olive. Everybody knows that scent of palm olive. This has more of a woodsy pine type scent. And I actually love that smell. So I enjoyed this a lot and I liked it so much that I grabbed another one when I was at the store. It's good. I like it. People say that the, um, the Dawn is better and they like those a lot, but I've never tried that. So finish the thing of the iced oatmeal cookies. The youngest grand lady really enjoys these, so we picked up another pack of these as well, I think. I don't know if you're gonna see it in a haul or not, but these are these are wonderful. We like them. And it is by the Little Dutch Made Company, and it's a 10.5 ounce package of the iced oatmeal cookies. Another excellent cookie to have with a hot cup of coffee. So good. Oh, here's another thing of mushrooms. I'm not quite sure what we use this second thing of it with. Oh, here's that other air freshener, guys. This was another bust for me. This just didn't work at all. You can smell it when you're right, right on it. 
but it has no throw whatsoever. I put this in our downstairs bathroom, which is small. You can't smell it. It's just, it's not worth it to me. I mean, it smells so nice when you're right on top of it, but it has no throw whatsoever. Just, uh, I won't buy it again. Oh, this is one of the Lysol. These are the things that you kind of hang over your toilet tank, the rim of your toilet tank to help keep it clean. I like these. It also was in purple in a lavender scent. I'm not a fan of lavender. I mean, I like lavender, but I'd rather not. This is the Atlantic Fresh Scent. This is just a very clean, clean smell, and I like it. I have one in each of the main toilets right now. They work well, like just to keep the inside of the tank clean between deep cleanings. But I like these. They work good. I will buy it again. Finished a thing of the Prego meat flavored pasta sauce. It is a 18.5 ounce can. It's Prego. It's good. I can't remember what we used this for. I think I may have used this in with hot sausage when I did it in the crock pot with the um, the hot sausage and the, the um, onions and peppers. I think this is the sauce that I used. It's good. It's Prego. When the grandkids were here, they finished off a thing of the Nutter Butters. You get eight cookies in here, king size, and it is a 3.5 ounce package. They're Nutter Butters. These are just the um, the hard cookie. They also have the Nutter Butter, the big fluffy ones. I can't think of what they're called. Those are delicious, but these are so good, the Nutter Butter cookies. So they finished off a thing of that. Oh, here's the other pudding box. I don't know why I stuck that in here have no idea what this little thing is. That's interesting. I don't know what that is, what that came off of. I'll have to show that to hubby. Interesting. Finished the thing of the little Old Bay pouches that are out right now in the store. It's a one ounce, one ounce little seasoning pouch. It's Old Bay, guys. You have to buy this. It's Old Bay, it's amazing. We live close to the Maryland border. Old Bay is big around here. It's. People use Old Bay with everything, and it's delicious. So we finished that off. Hubby finished a thing of the French onion dip. He likes this a lot, me not so much. I would re rather have the like Walmart brand or the Aldi's brand of the French onion dip, but he enjoys it, and he actually had some of this with those chips, the tortilla chips. It's good, it's doable, but I don't think it's the best French onion dip, but he really enjoys it and it's the Homestyle Select 8.5 ounce can. It's a lot better when it's cold too. What was this? Munch King, oh, these were the plantain chips, kettle cooked with sea salt, three ounce package. These were good, they were very interesting. I know I had tried plantain chips a long, long time ago and I wasn't a fan, so we, I picked these up just to give them a try. When I saw sea salt, I thought, I'm gonna try them. They were way better than what I remember plantain chips tasting like. So if you like plantain chips, this brand is very good. This is the Munch King brand. They're interesting. And then there's this little thing in here. What is this stuff, guys? How did this stuff get inside my, get inside my bag? I don't even know what it is. I don't know, who knows? Finished off a thing of my salon selectives. This is like a deep, deep conditioner. I keep one of these in the shower. With me bleaching my hair, my hair gets very dry. My hair is, is, is extremely healthy. And honestly, I, I credit it to this. After I bleach my hair, of course I let my hair set for about four days and not touch it. But then afterwards I deep condition and this is one of the products I use. I use all of these salon selectives. And this is damage repair with vitamin E. It says Argon Oil Hair Treatment, and it's a five ounce package. I love this stuff. And a lot of you ask me how I do my hair. And to make a video, making a video of me actually bleaching my hair would be so difficult. I just, I don't have the setup for it. I, it's too time consuming for me to do that. I wouldn't know how to do it. There are so many wonderful YouTubers out there that have videos. It's how I learned to do it, really. Just watch some videos on how people bleach their hair and the, the fa failures and the, the good jobs. That's how I learned to do it. But I buy all of my products from Sally's 
I use the Wella Big Tub of Bleach. It lasts me a long time. I use whatever their like generic version of, I use 20 volume with the bleach and I just put it on just my roots where it needs it. I let it set for like 25 minutes and then check it. I may need to do it a little bit longer than that. Leave it on a little bit longer. And when that process is done, I rinse all that out. And I'm very, very careful when I do my bleach on my roots. I only touch the dark. I don't get it on any of my hair that's already been bleached. But then I, I rinse all of that out and then I tone it. And I use a bottle of the T18 toner and I use then use that same bottle after I dump it out, two bottles. Sometimes I use 20 volume developer, some I use 10. Just depends on the day and what volume, what developer I have on hand. I mix two of those bottles in with the one bottle of toner. I put the toner on, I start with just where I have bleached. I let it on for maybe 20 minutes and then I pull it through the rest of my ends just to finish toning. And then I rinse that out and I, I deep condition and that's all I do guys. I, I just, I can't make a video of it. But then on the daily, my products are salon selectives. Typically that's what I use. I do use other products of course that I've bought from the Dollar Tree. Give them a try to see if there's something I would like better. But I always go back to the salon selectives. I just like how it works on my hair. And this is the deep conditioner that I keep in the shower. And I use this maybe once every four shampoos. And in between, I use the Salon Selectives in the pink bottle, the shampoo and conditioner. So this is great. I love it. And I love the smell of this. The smell is amazing. Just a few more things, guys. Sorry for going off on that little tangent. Finished a box of the Bazooka Bubblegum. This is great. It's just like my childhood. And you get a lot of pieces in this box. I call this like a movie theater size box of bubble gum. I think it's a great deal. So I will have to be on the lookout for this again. It's good. The flavor lasts for about 3.5 seconds, but it takes me back to my childhood. And yes, there are still the little cartoons wrapped around each piece of gum. It's great. Finished this, the um, pizza crust. This was the little two pack. Made little homemade pizzas for supper one night. Some people love this pizza crust. Some people don't. We like it. So, and it's really nice because Hubby can make his the way he likes it. I can make mine the way I like it. And it's delicious. We like it. And then the Rotel Original Diced Tomatoes with Green Chilies. And it says non-BPA liner, non-GMO, 10 ounce can. It's Rotel. We all know what that is. And I believe Hubby used this as well. He made um, a gumbo. And I, I believe he threw this in it as well. It's good. So that is it guys, that is it for this empties haul. This was a big one, sorry about that. But anyway, I am going to end this video and I am going to leave these this outfit on and I'm gonna jump right into a Dollar Tree haul for you for tomorrow. So you're gonna see me in the same clothes, but it is what it is. I don't feel like going downstairs and changing and I'm up in the attic today and no, we're still not painting the back room yet. We need to get on that, but I just came up here where it's quiet today to, to do some videos. So anyway, guys, if you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys mean the world to me. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.